Should you focus on algorithms or real life projects to get your first job? Hello friends, I see a lot of this debate on YouTube channels. Lot of successful software YouTubers, either they recommend you to join their algorithm courses or their courses which has real life projects to get first job, to succeed in your first job. So you must be wondering, what you should be doing, focus on real life projects or algorithm. So today I will answer this question. So I will explain how, why you need both and also some tips if you are in engineering college doing your computer courses, what you should be focusing on. So as I said, you need both algorithms as well as real life projects. Algorithms will help you to pass the interview. I, I know a lot of big companies like Microsoft, Apple, Google, they have very algorithm based test. So you, your algorithm has to be real good. To succeed in to day to day life, you need some good exposure to some real life projects. So first my tip, if you are learning computer science or you're doing some diploma, do focus on your projects. Your projects are very, very important. I understand you think, well, okay, why should I focus on project? I have so many other papers, other, so many other subjects. So as I mentioned, your project is very, very important. That will help you to do day-to-day -day job. And uh, a lot of companies, they also ask what kind of projects you did. And if you can tell them what good practices you used, how you got the exposure to the languages, algorithms, patterns. So your chances of getting a job will increase. Second thing is, uh, try. the second tip is, try to do some real life projects also. I understand you need some academic projects to give you good exposure. I was trying to help my friend's niece a couple of years back. And what I saw, all her projects were academy. So try to do some real life projects also. And the third tip is make sure you are doing projects in language because there is a market demand. Uh, do your research and make sure you are doing uh, some projects in where uh, using some languages where where people are looking for programmers with that languages with that skill set. So thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel for your regular updates. Also connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter, especially LinkedIn if you like small summaries of the video. I will be posting a lot of small summaries of the video on LinkedIn. Thanks again.